My next guest is a very beautiful actress. She's doing a new play called This at the Kirk Douglas Theatre in Los Angeles. Please welcome the incandescently lovely Saffron Burrows, everybody. <laughs> Saffron Burrows. Lovely. I love your jacket. Thank you. It's I'm sorry. Very... I, I got distracted by the Englishman out there yes. and didn't hug you. You or... didn't hug me. I came to say hello to you backstage and you were all over Hugh Laurie like a lovely jacket. <laughs> Do you know each other? No. He once didn't turn up for dinner with me. He stood you up? Well, it was a big dinner and he happened to be... Well, he wasn't hungry? That was his excuse? <laughs> he was due to sit next to me at dinner and I spent the evening with an empty chair missing... A lovely conversation with him. Well, you should have called me. I'd have turned up. I'd have no. been there. I'd have been there. <laughs> oh, Saffron, hi. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's a lot of English people on the show tonight. Could you do the rest of the show in an American accent? It's all gone a bit British. Yeah, let's right. do that. All right, then. Okay. Well, I have a good warm-up for you. I have a very strange warm-up that I do in my car sometimes on the way to the theatre. Uh, oh, yeah, right, go. Thought about Paul. Hot coffee pot. It's been a bit dim, so give a little bit. It goes on like that. And my... I can't keep up. I've, uh, <laughs> I've crossed the Atlantic half a dozen times. I have my voice, ladies, on the iPod. Her, her voice is sort of reciting things. Some involve genitalia for some reason. But they all... Uh, <laughs> it's all about... For, for the real Americans here... Uh, actually, I am a citizen, too, now. Oh, you are? Congratulations! Thank you. Oh, welcome aboard. <laughs> Did you get your tattoo yet? I haven't got my tattoo. No, you have to get your tattoo. Do I need... It's like... a snake. It goes all the way around there and goes to your bits. I need a... <laughs> I need a tattoo. Yeah, well, yeah, you want to get a tattoo, don't but you? But to, sure. to stretch the vowels, this is what I do on the way to work. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't do an American accent. You can't. You I can't. Can. No, I can't. And when I try, I've heard you. No, I can't. It sounds like a Scottish person who lives in America. <laughs> But when I go to Scotland, they, uh -huh. they say, Oh, look at you. You think you're great with your American accent. I'm like, I don't right. have an American accent. They're like, yes, you do. That's what my friends in London do. You have to be careful. If you say something like garage, people go crazy. <laughs> if you say water, you're in trouble. Water, yeah. You can't go back to London. It's too do you know what I've noticed? Though? I was talking to a waiter in France. Don't ask. And, um... <laughs> And he said, I sometimes get very annoyed at Americans when they come here. And I'm like, why? And he said, because they come to the restaurant and say, do you have water? And I'm like, and, he, and I was like, yeah, oh, uh, this is our restaurant. No, we don't have any water. Uh, the potatoes, they boil themselves. The tea has no water. The coffee, no water. It's made out of dirt. <laughs> Where was this? On your holiday? Yeah, I went to Paris. Did you, uh, did you have a nice time in Paris? You ever been to Paris? I lived in Paris. Did you? I got sent there. You went there for a while, didn't you? I did, yeah. I was yeah. there. I was, yeah. I was, uh, I was uh, friendly with a girl over there. You were? Yeah. And when I say friendly, you know. With a French girl? Yeah. <laughs> you too? I lived there with... I French girl there too? I was 15. <laughs> I 15? lived there with girls from all over the world. Miss Illinois, Miss Gothenburg. It was a beauty pageant? I got sent there by, a, by Elite, you know, the model agency. Oh, right. So I lived there with people from all over the world. Models from all over the world? And you were one of them all but living in the same house? Every three days, someone Wait. knew would arrive. And... <laughs> Where the hell was I? <laughs> Drinking beer in Glasgow going, Oh, this is the greatest thing ever! <laughs> You might have been there at the same time. No, I would have remembered. <laughs> That's lovely. Do you spend any time in France now? I do now. I've shrugged off the bad memories and now I like it. Oh, right. Yeah. What do I, you eat when you're there? Do I you love it. I eat steak frites every oh, night. Yeah, I, I like love that. it. Yeah, yeah. Fish and, and I mean, uh, steak and, and fries. Yeah. You have to say fries. fries. Yeah, you can't say chips. You can't say French fries because... No, because they're like, oh, it is France. All the fries are French. But remember, there were... <laughs> They became Freedom Fries. Oh, they became Freedom Fries. Remember that? Yeah. Do you Bush know once you I, was, say French fries? I was once in a truck stop bathroom, don't ask, and, <laughs> and it, was in, it was during all the time when the, the anti-French feeling was very high.